Hi poker players, welcome to my first, very first vlog. Mm, my, my, my name is Idris Kenciolo. Um, I've been playing poker for over 10 years. And, um, my favorite game is uh, Pot Limit Omaha. Uh, um, I'm uh, releasing this uh, vlog just wanted to have fun with it. I like the fact that I could be able to analyze my hands and um, talk about uh, what I've done wrong and right. Maybe um, you know I could uh, produce some content that uh, could be useful for the newcomers um, as well as for myself. Uh, and I I like the fact that I can be able to do something outside the uh, poker something uh, that I could enjoy and doing it um, so I hope you enjoy it um, and um, please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and um, I'll try to release uh, at least uh, one video a month minimum for now and if I get uh, traction maybe I'll you know uh, produce some more uh, content and uh, enjoy thanks bye thing I uh, I'd like to mention you know oh um, by the way this game that I'm playing at it's in Vancouver British Columbia in Canada so the game plays uh, one 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 two PLO um, bring in five however I would say it plays like five five PLO minimum or two five PLO sometimes um, some of the players comes in and buys dip no no max buying so and the game got get bigger uh, quite fast and it's very very good game I would say I would say it's uh, it is one of the best game in North America that does not mean you poker players should travel to come and uh, play here um, anyhow um, uh, just um, Basically, you know, you could grind this game forever. You know, you don't have to travel anywhere. And uh, living in the best city in the world, uh, you know, um, that's all you need as a poker player for you to grind. You know, knowing the, all the expenses of traveling, you know, all that stuff, uh, it can uh, catch up quite fast. In summertime, you know, me going to World Series every year, you know, uh, tournament. I'm a tournament sucker, so I end up playing a lot of tournaments that I am not supposed to play. And um, so, um, it might not be the best thing for a poker player instead of um, putting all his uh, um, bankroll in line and burning money on fire. You know, tournament variants catch up uh, uh, with you so fast so
that I'm gonna show you um, I had uh, a quite an interesting hand <laughs> I screwed up big time and probably I should have played it totally different you know, it shows that you know sizing and uh, player uh, uh, that you are playing against you have to play uh, in a level you know in a way that they could you have to measure, you know, their tendency of falling and uh, folding. So I made a big error and I lost the hand. However, I still like to show um, the situation. So I had queen queen six three uh, on a big blind. I called twenty dollar over under the gun razor, and um, there were six players seven players excuse me uh, to the flop the flop came king jack and six uh, which mean we missed uh, pretty much everything you know uh, we just have a pair uh, check on the flop it checked around and then the turn came down ten of hearts which is a good card because we have the blockers which in yellow blockers it's a big deal you know you basically you are blocking the nuts and it's a nut because it's a nut game so you have the most likely the best hand you know best blockers to bet out so I bet hundred dollar which is you know uh, close to a pot you know to, to, to uh, thirds of a pot and then um, two players call and uh, we see the turn on the turn which is a very good card which is a uh, ace of heart and uh, we should still have and uh, not blocker so I bet out 200 to make it look value bad and unfortunately this guy um, under the gun plus one he snap called me with he said so I had to pretend that I had two pair you know unfortunately I, I was just all I was doing is just bluffing and that's how you burn $300 for no reason <laughs> uh, anyhow um, oh, thinking about it uh, I would have totally full potted instead of just uh, value bad look uh, bad which was 200 bucks um, I guess guess learn uh, lesson learned so for the next time um, all right uh, let's move on to the next hand now Nice Yes. And, and three jobs. I'm, I'm and surprised. I'm, I'm and surprised you didn't read I'm surprised. I'm surprised you didn't I want to finish it up, so I want to put
everybody to go blind. This is yours, isn't it? No, no. You got how many cards you got? Three. Yeah, that's yours. Twenty. <laughs>
In, in this hand, I have um, in a small blind ace, king, queen, eight, ace, queen of hearts, and then three of us goes to the flop. The flop comes three, three, sorry, five, three, five, three, six. I totally missed. Four, fifteen. Again, you know. <laughs> when you, sometimes you can go on and uh, miss a lot of flops, you know. And you know, right after the very next hand, I got Jack, Jack, six, eight. Jack, eight of diamond. <coughs> Um, at the end of the session, I end up uh, uh, cashing out uh, quite uh, lucrative and um, I bought originally, my usual buy-in for this game is $500. So I don't like buying uh, shorter than that or uh, higher than that. It actually depends if I am, you know, if the game is bigger and there's so much money thrown around, yes, I buy in bigger however I feel comfortable and I'd like to run it run up uh, run it up uh, from 500 some of the hands I like to gamble with uh, so the 500 if I lose uh, I'm comfortable for losing it um, anyhow um, I end up cashing out um, I start with 500 I end up cashing out 2800 so it was uh, extremely a good day and um, uh, uh, right after after 11, 12 hours uh, of play, I was quite tired and um, I cash out. Um, thanks uh, again for watching my uh, vlog. Um, hopefully, I'll try to uh, you know produce some more content. And um, if you can subscribe or leave me a comment uh, below. Um, I'd like to know what I'm doing right or not uh, if I'm uh, if you want anything different um please let me know um thanks for watching again thank you